Hello friends and welcome to Storyteller Plays Swords and Magic and Stuff. This isn't an episode so much as I'm checking out the new tutorial area, because it's changed quite a bit since the last couple of times I've recorded the opening of the game. Once upon a time you started out in a ship, then you just started out shipwrecked, and now I'm in some kind of prison. Let me go ahead and open up my HUD so that I can actually play this game and let's go. I can sneak around with left stick, or just roll through like I did. Oh, Mieri, I'm so glad you're all right. I was starting to worry they took you somewhere else. I can't... I can't believe this. Having our ship boarded by wild orcs our first day in Tirowin. Just our luck, huh? I mean, we wanted adventure. It looks like we found it. What are we going to do now? You just knew I already had a plan, didn't you? Okay, so, while you are out, I think I fashioned a lockpick out of this rusty spoon. Unfortunately, I could only find one, but my cell has a hole in the wall. I think I can squeeze through. Here, you take the spoo er lockpick. Let's see if you can get that door open. Just be careful, and I'll meet you er uh, and I'll meet back up with you soon. Alright, let's go. You cannot drop this lockpick. So uh, unfortunately at time of recording I don't know if there's a way to keep it for, uh, you know, decor decoration purposes. How'd Sen get out of there? I don't see a hole. Liar. Dude just teleported. I wish I could do that. Oh, hey there. Ha! Already made it out on your own, I see. I could have saved you a bit of trouble if you waited a few more minutes. Don't worry, I'm not gonna lock you back up. I'm Kelch. You can trust me. I was actually on my way to break, er, uh, on my way to speak with you. You don't know how glad I am that Tog captured you and your friend last night. The timing is just perfect. I need your help. Go on. I'm part of the Wild Orc Resistance. We're still small, but we're growing every day, and soon we'll be able to finally take down the power-hungry war chief, Tooth. Resistance? Sorry, I forgot most people don't realize what's going on yet, and Tooth has done a pretty good job of keeping it quiet. Tyrwin is in danger. Tooth is planning an invasion to take the throne now that the king is missing. But not all of us agree with his plan. Many of the orcs in Bone Reach, the realm Tooth rules, are trying to fight back, and we could really use your help. Look, I'm not asking you to be a hero or anything. I just need you to deliver a letter to the guards on Azora, er, the island of Azora. Then you can be on your way to live your life however you want. I can do that. Thanks, kid. Just take this letter to the captain of the guard in Hope Harbor. They should know what to do, I hope. Listen, Tog shipped all the real soldiers back to Bone Reach yesterday. The only orcs left here are trainees. They barely know which end is the pointy side of their wooden swords. They shouldn't be a problem for you. Grab yourself a weapon from that barrel there and get going. The first step is to get out of this training camp. Cool beans. We just started and we've already got a weapon. Yep, I can use my wooden shield to block, and I can attack with the stick, which is good, because I need to get past these barrels. I will keep my eye open for secrets along the way, because the tutorials have always housed some secrets. Oh, look, it's a chef. Huh? Oh, another escapee, I see. Don't those guards even lock the cells anymore? Well, I suppose you can cook yourself up some food if you want. You might need it if you're planning on fighting your way out of here. Food? What, they don't have food where you come from? I'll be darned. Well, food is a great way to prepare for battle, you see. A meal will last you a whole day, and a good drink to wash it down will last you half a day. Just pay attention to what you're eating, though. Some foods can make you fast on your toes, and others uh, make you downright hearty. Yes, everyone's got their favorites. Oh, and while eating food makes you feel a bit better in a pinch, if you're Woo, uh, if you're wounded, it's no replacement for a bandage or a healing potion. So don't go stuff in your face for no reason. All right. Is there anything around here I can actually cook with? There's a cooking table. Here we go. We got coconuts and some crab claws. Cook up some coconut milk. And the crab claws. Let's go ahead and just consume those now, because I should be out of here well before they wear off. Unless I explore too thoroughly.
Just hit me. I'm trying to block. I've never actually used a shield before in this game. Blocked, sucker. And I leveled my mace skill. Does look like the game gave me more coconuts and access to crabs. Uh oh, I can't get out of here. I'm so used to having a glider that I've tried using it a couple times now. Ooh, puddle. Is there anything in the water? No. Nothing there either. I'm kind of curious as to how they got a sail down here. Come on, tiny crab. It looks like I wasted my time trying to block that other one, though, because they can't actually hit me. If I just keep moving, apparently I'm immune to their tricks. I don't need to be fighting crabs, though, so let's go explore more of the tutorial. I'm not seeing any secrets. What the hell is Sen? Oh, sweet, a bow. I do plan on having this character be an archer, so... That is pretty handy for me. Let me go ahead and re-equip all my shite. This is now loadout number two. This game has loadouts now. You will see me, in later episodes, accidentally disrobing. That is the loadout mechanic at play. No, I try to use the arrow keys to navigate conversation. And sometimes it works. And uh, sometimes I just take off all my clothes. Anybody who plays a bard in Dungeons & Dragons knows that that's just sometimes how... Uh, Conversation goes. I need to keep my eyes open for secrets. I have come back here on the character I'm recording, but... Ooh, dangerous arrows. Today I caught some of the trainees playing uh, with flaming arrows. One moment, I'm being attacked. Not very well. Crit. If I can just hit their head, it will crit basically every time. Bow skill unlocked. Mm, probably not worth jumping into the water for a bandage and two gold. Let's get back up there and read that note. Assuming I've not aggroed that other god. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's read the note. Yes, today I caught some trainees playing with flaming arrows. I don't even know how they made them, but they nearly burnt the entire bridge down. Obviously, I confiscated the arrows and hung them from one of the posters near the bridge, so no one could reach them. Sure, I could have just thrown them in the water, but it's more fun watching them sulk and stare up at them. Unknown. Those aren't flaming arrows. One of the posters by the bridge. Does that mean these? I don't see any flaming arrows. Uh oh, the bridge is going back up. Ow. Rude. Oh well, I might as well take out that guard. Let's equip some arrows for extra punch. Everybody knows bows are most effective point blank. Probably just shank the dude with an arrow from this range. Nothing. Nothing. Actually, if I had to guess, that right there is the flaming arrows. Which will come in handy very shortly. Doing this on my main character, I... Oh, there's no flaming arrows in here. Where the hell are the flaming arrows? And posters by the bridge. Yeah, it says one of the posts, not posters. So I'm stupid, but I'm still not finding the flaming arrows. So let us move on. I was going to be flaming arrows. Yes. Hell yeah. Took me like seven years. I will cut me being lost out of the video, but you're going to have to take my word for it that it was not actually seven years. Mm, could have been. Okay, can't use any of these beds. Can use their cooking fire. Oh good, we've already got platforming. Ow. Can you hold still so I can shoot you in the face? Missed. There we go. Bow skill. Two gold. What is up here? Uh-oh. Let me get back up there real quick. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know if there's anything on these rocks anyway, but I can't seem to get up there. It looks like nothing. Maybe that was just introducing mechanics. Anything for free in here? Magic potion. Ooh, magic in you. This is going to be a long video. Come on, turn the page. Magic in You by Archmage Vanden. Chapter 1, The History of Magic. I bet you didn't even realize that you have magical energy buzzing inside you. Well, you do. Magic is all around us, and a magic staff can be used to focus that energy into something useful. Magic was discovered long ago by the first moon elves in a place they called the Shardlands. Named for the enormous crystal shards stuck in the ground, this place seemed to attract the magic energy lingering in the air. These shards made it possible to craft and attune staves. Chapter 2. Short chapters. Magic staves can be used to focus that magic energy inside you into a raw magical arc that can be used as a projectile weapon. But with the right tool, staves can also cast powerful spells. Spell tomes were written by the ancient moon elves long ago, and the adventurers... Yes, that says adventurers, are still discovering more and more of these tomes in the far reaches of Terowin. Lucky some of us mages have learned to copy the discovered tomes so we can share this magic with aspiring magic users. The downside of casting spells is that it quickly drains that magic energy around you, and without magic, the casters are no longer you er, yeah. The caster can no longer use spell tomes. I, I wish I could read. Luckily staves can recharge your magic by using their base attack against enemies. But carrying a potion of magic or two never hurt. Nice. And now I've got my third loadout. Let's go ahead and equip this staff. Not entirely sure why I chose to pronounce it that way. And I might as well put my shield on too, because there's no reason not to. Let's go. Uh, who's there? Uh, Miari? Well, Miari, this training room is only available to wild mage trainees right now. You'll have to come back later. I am a wild mage. Really? A wild orc interested in learning magic instead of martial combat? Yep, definitely a wild orc. Good. Imagine training it, uh, an imposter to be a powerful mage. That would be a catastrophe. Er, that would be a catastrophe. Anyway, come on in. Hello. As you can see, I am an orc. Look at my horns. Ooh, magic domains by Archmage Vanden again. Long ago, it was discovered that magic was governed by seven distinct domains. These different domains are quite important uh, for every young mage to know if they are to harness the power of magic. Ember Domain. The em excuse me. The Ember Domain is all about destruction and reduction. Uh, reducing things into ash, that is. Ember staves emit fire-based arcs and empower fire-based spells. Ember is a dangerous domain in the wrong hands. Frost Domain. The Frost Domain focuses entirely on ice and cold. A Frost Mage is capable of freezing their enemies in their tracks and sending piercing icicles soaring through the air. Some Frost Mages can even walk on water. Earth Domain. The Earth Domain harnesses the power of stone in nature. An Earth Mage can raise stones from the ground, create hardened armor around them and their allies, and even hurl boulders at their foes. Sky Domain. The Sky Domain harnesses the power of the wind and lightning. A Sky Mage can manipulate the weather, create an electrical shield, and some can even fly. Oh, I wish I could fly. Sky is, an in uh, sky is a complicated domain to master, but very powerful. Order Domain. The Order Domain is all about healing wounds and turning undead. I want to turn undead. That's not what that means, but still. An Order Mage is typically found healing and protecting their allies in battle. The Order Domain also focuses on empowering and assisting. The Chaos Domain. The Chaos Domain is a very powerful, dark form of magic that was outlawed in Tyrwin long ago. I still practice the hell out of it, though. Many of the Chaos Tomes discovered have been destroyed, making Chaos Magic rare. Oftentimes, chaos, ma chaos Magic pulls its energy from the caster's life force instead of their magical energy. Summoning Domain. The Summoning Domain is a field of magic focused entirely on conjuring creatures and weapons and tools to assist them. Summoning uh, can come at a great cost to your magical energy, but typically the outcome is worth the expense. Conclusion. While magic is a... Er, while magic is split between several different domains, all mages will likely learn to utilize spells from each... Learning the benefits of each domain can help you identify which staff and which tomes to carry with you on your adventures. My main character is a chaos mage. Hello. You're, uh, you're not a wild orc, but you know what? Who cares? I'm just so glad someone signed up for the mage training. 
Beggars can't be choosers, I say. Plus, as long as the door is frozen shut, you're basically stuck here anyway. May as well learn something. Maybe I can convince Targ to increase funding for the magic program and fill these bookshelves with, uh, if we can prove that we're successful. Should we get started with your training? Yes. Great. Would you like to start with the inner workings of the arcane and the history of the great shards? Or do you want to get straight to blasting things with magic? You know what? Don't answer that. You can uh, learn all that boring stuff in books. Let's do something fun. Go stand over there on that mark I painted on the ground, and I'll pull this lever here to drop a training crate onto the podium next to me. Use your staff to blast it to pieces. Trust me, it's really fun. I've been doing it all day. Got it. I'll stand here. I wish... I wish there was an over-the-shoulder camera, like in um, Skyrim. Mm, quest updated. God, that hurt. What in the world just happened? Who put a boom powder crate in with the training crates? I'm contacting the safety team about this one. I don't believe that you have one. Say, you've got a mending staff there. Give me a wha- er, give me a quick mend. What's that? You didn't know you could heal friends with that staff as well as use it to fight enemies? Well, now you know. Go ahead, then. Just stand back and let me have it. It's a good thing you're a friend and not an enemy, then, huh? Well, that's a bit better. It takes the edge off, at least. Say, you're pretty good with that staff. Maybe we should move to onto spell tomes. I wish I could read. I bet you could handle this one. Just hang on to it and channel the energy from your staff into the tome. Then, boom, magic. Really, it's quite easy. Just be sure you have enough magic remaining to cast the spell. Okay, I'll give it a try. I'm trying again to navigate with the arrow keys, but it is not working. Let's go ahead and boom. Burst heal. Hey, look at that. You did it. I've been trying to figure that spell out for weeks. All right. I think that about wraps up the training for today. But you know what? You're a natural. The wild orcs are really lucky to have such a talented mage in their ranks. Hey, maybe you could figure out this ember tome and unfreeze the door. I have a feeling if Tog finds out that I, I mean, my apprentice froze that door shut... He wouldn't be happy. Oh, and if you're ever short on magic during the fight, remember that using your staff's basic attack will regenerate some of your magic. Yes, it will. In the meantime, let's go ahead and blast this door. Are there any magic potions in here? Nope, just the one I took from the other room? Okay. Let's go ahead and switch back to my archer, because that's the class I'm focusing on. They give you a forge? But I don't see any resources around here. Whoops. Actually, these crates are... pretty well lined with stuff that you need. Almost like these are the only scripted crates in the game. I can't make anything with that. Let's come over here. Wooden dagger, crude shield. I can't make a better bow, so I'm going to ignore that for now. Is there an anvil where I could, like, craft an axe? Can I make an axe? No. I can make a spear, though. No, I can't. I will ignore that. Who cares? I'm not here to learn. I'm here to make progress. Still don't have an axe. Hmm. I thought headshots usually crit. Maybe I'm just having a run of poor luck. More nails and planks. Oh, sweet, an axe. I was just talking about needing one of these. Let me go ahead and put my bow in here as well. Nice, and, an, and a pickaxe. Little vein of ore. That's not actually enough to smelt. You would think that they would have scripted that to be enough, but whatever. Oh, here's another vein. It's probably all about learning. This game is a lot better with mouse and keyboard, but my mouse is very loud. Whoops. Whoops again. There we go. I'm running out of my, uh, consumable arrows. To do, frankly, not that much more damage. 
uh, landing pillows. This really do be a training ground of sorts. Lots of resources. Nothing I can do with them, though. It is worth picking them up. So I am doing that. To demonstrate that uh, this is a tutorial. Yes. That's a mug. I thought it was a really tiny chest for a second. I've been playing this game since September of 2020. So I don't need it, but there it is interesting how many um, spirit anchors there are in here. Oop. Hopefully I'm going to have time to finish editing this before I have to leave for work. Although render and upload time is going to make it to where it doesn't come out until... Whoops. After work anyway. I keep trying to use my glider, which I don't have. Missed. I wish I could aim better. Ah, you can't get me, sucker. Should have had a bow. Just going to take pot shots at you from here. Darn it, me. Sweet more arrows. Ignore that I fell a moment ago. I'm also ignoring resources now, because who has time for that? Stay there while I take pot shots at you. There we go. I can conserve my arrows by just unequipping everything. Whoop. And I'm up here. More stuff. I do believe the contents of that chest is the same. There we go. It had some beads in it. And an upgrade, uh, an augmentation stone. Let's go ahead and upgrade my bow. Right click and enhance. Hello there, it's nice to see a fresh face here in Hope Harbor. What brings you to our little town? I've got this letter. Oh, well let me read this then. Hmm, I see. Well, this seems pretty bad if you ask me. But don't you worry, I'm sure the guards over in Sleepy Haven or Alarin City have got this all taken care of. I look uh, forward to this, yeah, I'll forward this letter on to them just in case, and be sure to let them know you delivered it in case they have questions for you. Thanks for your help. While you're here, enjoy your time in town. And it looks like that's the new tutorial. A lot more expansive, uh, this weird help thing keeps popping up. It wants you to read through all of these, where is it? Collections, tutorials. Yeah. I wonder if looking at all of those will make them stop popping up. There's a way to turn off. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, Alarin City Re Records Department. Oh, it's just the hero stuff. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and fizzity farewell.